Industrial design historically encompasses what we might think of as product design. So look around you, your shoes, your telephone, your toothbrush. Um, somebody designed those things. They thought about the materials that were used, they thought about the form that it would take, they thought about the manufacturing processes involved. Um, they thought about how you might actually use those objects. So I think that's where industrial design has its really foundation is in mass manufactured commercial goods. We get to learn a lot of different things. We get to learn welding, we get to learn about anthropology, we get to learn wood shop. Um, it's just really broad and you get to bring all those skills to, to work here. Students take foundational courses in art and painting and drawing and sculpture, um, two-dimensional two design, three-dimensional design. And then as they, as sophomores move into the industrial design program, they start to take courses in materials and manufacturing, uh, learning about the wood shop and the metal shop and um, how things are produced and made. Um, equally, they get a foundation in uh, quantitative and qualitative research methods. There's a lot of freedom in what we do. Um, across the board, all the students in the program, like our interests are industrial design, but when you get into the multifaceted nature of that, the interests kind of spread a lot. And because of how flexible the curriculum is here, it allows us to all like investigate our interests more on an individual level, but still come back and converge on industrial design as a whole. I would say what makes the program unique is uh, definitely the teaching styles. There's a lot of, a lot of uh, cooperation between student and teacher. There's a lot of listening that goes on from both sides. This past summer I got an internship at Little Bits in New York City. So I was a design intern there for three months um, working on like user experience and user journey through their product. I believe it gave me an opportunity to work with people and understand people. Mm -hmm. Using empathizing to to understand your user, rather that be a grandma or a child. I think the number one thing I've learned here that's going to help me in the future is working with all the people here in the studio. That's the thing that I think students gain most from this program is simply just the, the team working capacity, the capability of um, being able to be good communicators and good collaborators. And I think that res resonates throughout the, the entire curriculum.